I'll just start with the, obviously, you know, pleased with the outcome. I thought we we got better, we played better as, as the, the game progressed. Um, it's not a trend or a habit we, we want to continue, but uh, you look at our roster, and, and one thing we talked about before the season was our depth, and I thought uh, Jimmy Baddish and uh, Jalen Morgan gave, gave us a great lift off the bench tonight. Coach, can you pinpoint what it was that really started the soul start for you guys defensively? I had to go back and look at the film uh, to put my finger on it. Uh, right away, I would just say just defensive laps. Mm -hmm. I think uh, they got some good looks. I think they got to the basket. And uh, we got to do a better job on the perimeter containing the ball. You called a timeout um, midway through the first half. You said it looked you didn't say much to them. What did you say to them in that uh, timeout you called in the first half? Well, just simply apply what they know. I think we have... Uh, uh, veteran players, we have returning players, we have seniors who understand uh, the way we want to play at both ends of the floor. And uh, we, we can't, you know, live and die with the jump shot. We have to have a balanced attack on offense. Um, you know, one of the things that we uh, looked at the first five or six games was the fact that we were moving the ball well uh, and we were playing well at an efficient level at both ends. And, and prior to that timeout, we weren't defending and we weren't making the right basketball decisions on offense. And we had too many careless turnovers. So the timeout was more of a just reality check for for us. And after the timeout, you were uh, you were much more pleased with the way you guys were moving the ball, and uh, were on the much more pleased with the way they were. Well, I thought uh, I thought the I thought their uh, their focus was better. It didn't immediately translate to uh, production uh, right away, um, but what it did was refocus their energy, refocus their enthusiasm, and ultimately Jamie Baddish came in and knocked down some shots, which which helped. Coming out of uh, Creighton and with Iowa uh, coming up, what were some of the things you really wanted to see from your guys tonight? Well, just really uh, defensive awareness and, and the ability to uh, get the first rebound. I thought uh, the Creighton game, they really uh, destroyed us on the on the boards, and they had 19 off offensive reboards at, at rebounds at Creighton. So we want to do a much better job of getting the first rebound today. Uh, did a pretty good job, not where I want it, not where it needs to be. We still have to work at it. And also wanted to make sure that we do a better job of defending the dribble, which we didn't in the first half. So those are the two areas we, we definitely want to continue to work at, you know, defending the dribble, getting that first rebound. And with the guard play that we have, we have to do a better job of taking care of the ball. What kind of problems can uh, Jalen Morgan present to other teams when he gives you another option off the bench and as opposed to two spots where you really could use some scoring? Well, I think just defensively, I think uh, as he continues to get his legs, again, he's coming back from ACL tear and, and you know, he's full go by, by all means, but he's, he's learning, his body's learning, and he's learning that some of the things that he thinks he can do or used to do before the injury, he's learning to adjust uh, with that. So uh, I think he presents an a inside-outside challenge. I think he's a guy on offense that can stretch out to 17 feet. I think uh, in and around the basket, he's long, he's bouncy. Uh, he can finish and uh, doing a really good job, uh, you know, stepping up when his number's called. Jabari, once again, a really your floor general, seven assists, no no turnovers. What what more can he do for you guys to really jumpstart an offense? Because you seem like his ability to find shooters just kind of proves contagious after a while. It seems like guys are more willing to make that extra pass when you've got a guy like Jabari really kind of playing unselfish. Well, that's the role of a point guard, and I think he's uh, doing a really good job with that and just maintaining it just being consistent and sustain that level of play. Uh, that's a tremendous stat line, you know, 11 points, seven assists, no turnovers in, in, in under 30 minutes. So I think he's doing a really good job with that. Just need to sustain it. Coach, um, with a minute 22 left to go in the first half, after Covington missed his uh, second free throw, you guys went on an 8-0 run to stretch your lead from 7 to 15 in the first half. At that point, did you feel like you guys had, um, it was a really turning point of the game that you guys went up to double digits in, in the second half with a much more comfortable lead than what it could have been? Well, obviously, it's, you know, psychologically, uh, you know, when you're dealing with 18 to 22 year olds, you know, they're all about visual. So when, when they look up at the scoreboard and they're up 15, uh, you know, they're obviously a little more excited than if you were up one or two. Um, but as coaches, you know, we look at it as, you know, uh, had it not been for uh, three pointers late, uh, it might have been a two point game. So uh, we always look at how. Uh, as opposed to uh, what the score indicates. It's how we got there. That's important. What kind of impact can a player like Jamie Baddish have on you guys for the, um, as you guys um, head up to Iowa City and then home against Eastern Illinois in the 12th before the holiday break? What kind of impact can he have uh, 
for these next couple of games? I just think he's a guy that does a tremendous job, uh, what we call being a pro's pro. Um, he's always ready, whether he plays two minutes, 22 minutes, or 32 minutes. Uh, he's always ready, and that's a you know tremendous uh, credit to his ability to shoot the basketball. So I think what he does is, uh, for the opposing teams, they have to account for him uh, because he's he comes in and he does a really good job making open shots, which ultimately opens up the inside game as well as uh, driving opportunities for guys like uh, J.C. Fuller, Jabari, Garrett. Coach, you guys only have one more home game, uh, or only one more, only one home game until the next month. What do you want to see from your guys on the road that they've already shown you going to Wisconsin, having gone to Creighton, having gone to Eastern, and going to Iowa now, and then Chicago and the area coming up? Well, I just think maintaining the level of poise that it takes to win on the road. I think we have the roster, we have the depth, we have the experience. It just takes poise and consistency, uh, especially on the road. Um, and we've proven that. We just have to uh, do it each and every time we're on the road as well as at home. So just play with that level, same level of poise and, and urgency on the road as well and continue to shoot the ball and defend. I think that's something that you know, we harp on each and every day, and, and today we did a really good job. We shot 50%, which is kind of where we were all, all year, 50% from the field, 50% from three. So we just want to continue with that uh, efficiency. Coach, was this one of the better defensive games that you've, uh, you've seen your guys play? No, no. I think it, it's definitely uh, – uh, it, it had its moments tonight, but uh, – you know, I thought the Wisconsin game was, was great considering the moment, considering the opponent, and it's no disrespect to any other team, but it's, tonight wasn't, wasn't very good by, by my standards. There's what definitely room for, for improvement. What, um, what is something that um, you could see that needs to improve uh, pretty quickly on the defensive side and then to Iowa City? Containing the ball. I think uh, right now uh, with the new rule change as far as the closely guarded rule, uh, we have to find a balance, and uh, I think sometimes our, our guys are uh, less aggressive uh, because of they don't want to get a quick foul. I think that's what happened with uh, JC a little bit. In the Creighton game, first half, he got two quick fouls. So there is a balance, and we, we teach show your hands, move your feet, and then you have to adjust to the way uh, it, the game is being called. What kind of got things rolling after the, after the slow start? Um, defense, we finally started getting some stops. Um, our main focus this year always has been, even last year, is get stops and, uh, you know, score the ball. So they were, they were hitting, they were hitting their shots at the beginning of the game and it kind of slowed down at all the momentum, honestly. So once we started getting stops, it was easy for us to build momentum. Uh, did you guys defense? Help you guys' offense kind of get into a better shooting rhythm and uh, bringing Jamie Battish in, you know, uh, three big threes in the first half. Did that really get the uh, offense going once you once you brought in uh, Jamie? Oh, it definitely did. Um, Jamie's a knockdown shooter, always always ready to come in and hit shots. And but before that, we started getting steals. We started getting you know defensive rebounds, you know, instead of taking the ball out, and that always helps get us going, get us momentum going into our offense. Was this about as good as a performance you guys could have had coming off the uh, the 30-point loss to Creighton on Saturday? Um, no. I mean, honestly, uh, I think we could have played better. We could have played way better. Um, just I mean, we had a lot of defensive breakdowns at first. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um, they stayed in the game too long. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we really could have jumped down, you know, opened up the gap more in the first half. But, I mean, we picked it back up. Jalen, the second half, you guys uh, really see, couldn't seem to miss. Was that just a case of just working the ball more to get to get better, easier shots? Because you guys seemed like you were really sharing the ball and, and getting those those easy, high percentage looks there. Inside. Yeah, I mean, one of our things is you know play in and out. When we get it inside, you know, obviously that's a better uh, percentage to hit. So, you know, we got the ball in, got the shoot free throws and stuff like that. And we move the ball well. Like I think my teammates move the ball well. So you know, and Jamie coming off, you know. He hit a lot of shots, and our guards know how to hit shots too when they're open. So I feel like that helped a lot too. You know, you're really in a rhythm. Six to seven from the field, uh, five to seven from the free throw line for 17 points. Um, you were feeling it pretty early, and just kept that uh, kept that hot shooting going for the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah. Well, Coach Wright really like tells the bigs to finish. Like that's one thing that we have to do is finish, finish, and finish. That's how we want to stay in the game also. And I feel like my teammates really helped us a lot by you know passing it to the post. So, and that also opened up the gap more. So, they have to play in and out. 
I feel like it helped a lot. You guys had a real balance scoring four players in double figures. Um, was this the type of, uh, after the slow start, was uh, how um, how good of a rhythm did you guys really start finding? And then um, what was the big thing to keep it going in the second half? I mean, like you guys noted, um, ball movement and getting stops. Once we started moving the ball more, um, things open up. We start moving the ball and actually getting into the logo as in attacking the basket. So once that started happening, guys are getting more open. That's rhythm shots. We don't really miss too many rhythm shots. Can you guys kind of explain the, the slow start you guys had? It was real sloppy the first uh, first seven minutes. Uh, a lot of turnovers and a lot of uh, easy buckets that were, that were missed. Can you guys um, kind of pinpoint what it was that uh, started you guys off pretty slow? Um. I mean, you got to give credit to them. They were hitting jump shots. Their, um, their offense was, was clicking in the beginning. So, I mean, we just got to come out with more defensive intensity and stop them instead of hoping they miss, you know what I'm saying? So we had a slow start on the defensive side. I wouldn't necessarily say offense. Offense is going to come. We're not really worried about our offense. But on defense, we got to make sure we get stops, and that will lead to a better start on offense, too. Coming out of Creighton and then with Iowa on the horizon, what were some of the things you guys wanted to get accomplished tonight to kind of get over that the hump from the Creighton loss and then with Iowa on the horizon? Well, I think we wanted to play um, more defense, obviously. You know, Creighton, we had a bad defensive game. So, you know, we want to get back to defense where we're clicking on defense so we can get better uh, chances to get buckets, you know what I mean? So, and then Iowa, we got, really have to focus on our defense. Like, everything starts off with defense. That's what we really focus on. You know, the offense is going to come. Like we had key things coming in, obviously, from the Creighton game, getting the first rebound. Yeah. Um, we really stressed rebounding and boxing out. So that's one of the main things we came into this game. After the shot goes up, find your man, box out, and then transition D, getting back, finding your man, just getting stops. You got to get stops. Did you guys feel like you improved on the rebounding game uh, today than, you, um, than it was on Saturday against Creighton? Yeah, definitely. We definitely did against this team, but we're really going to focus on it against Iowa. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're bigger, yeah. so I mean, it's going to be harder to rebound, but we got to get them. So we'll have some carryover from this game to that game. Right. You guys played at Wisconsin, played at Creighton, you played at Iowa, you have some games in the Chicago land area. How, how much pride do you guys take in your ability to play well on the road and be tougher on the road, not just on the floor, but kind of physically as well as mentally? Um. I mean, it kind of comes from last year. We're a veteran team. Last year, we played terrible on the road. And this year, we're trying to come out and make a statement saying that you know, we're not the same team from last year. So we go on the road. We take the confidence that we have from home. We just bring it on the road. And our main focus, we just focus on ourselves. Let's get stops, and then we're going to get buckets. And once again, as it says tonight, good defense leads to good offense.